if you double left click on the A circle below orbits, a summary of all that we have discussed will appear. The most important uh, discovery that was made and incorporated into the Bohr model is the Planck relation, which essentially states that energy is equal to the Planck constant multiplied by the frequency of the light, which is equal to the Planck constant multiplied by the speed of light divided by lambda, the wavelengths. And you should re always remember that the energy of light is incorporated into a photon, which is a quantum. So each qu photon has a specific amount of energy. In addition, a photon and only one electron combine. It is never accumulated that two photons can combine with one electron. It is quantum one and quantum two. Now let us put our puzzle together for the Niels Bohr model. We double left click the do button behind the name of Niels Bohr and our puzzle appears. The Bohr model was uh, published first by Niels Bohr in 1913 and it is based essentially on the discovery of Ernest Rutherford. These are the first four items are exactly the same. Nearly all mass of the hydrogen atom is in a small nucleus and the nucleoids are the proton and the neutron. And the H atom is mostly empty space, according to the Rutherford model. And the number of protons, we double click on protons, the number of protons and the number of electrons is the same. And the electron of the hydrogen atom moves around the nucleus in an orbit. When an electron absorbs energy from a photon, and a photon is light with a specific wavelength, the electron moves into a larger orbit. Then the electron emits a photon returning to the previous orbit. And the photon is an energy quantum, a specific amount of energy of light with the wavelengths of lambda, lambda. Wave particle duality of light means that light acts like a wave but light also acts as a particle. So here you have the hydrogen atom and the electron is in its ground state and when it is hit by a photon, it moves up to an excited state. And then it emits the photon and falls back to its ground state. Here we have the uh, wave particle duality. Here is a wave. The wavelength is lambda. And the energy quantum that is 
contained in a photon. The photon is abbreviated with gamma, small Greek letter for G, and you calculate E equals H C divided by lambda. And we should know that, that H is 6.626 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 34. And C is 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 8 in meter. The uh, the this is related to the Planck relation, gives you the energy of a photon, and the relationship that one electron always combines with only one photon is based on Einstein's photoelectric effect for which he received a Nobel Prize. That is the minimum you need to know about the Bohr model.